7.36. I need to go to the grocery store. I don't have eggs or anything. So I'm going to have this cliff Bar for breakfast. And I thought I'd share what I'm eating today and do a little vlogging. It's Wednesday, the day after Izzy's birthday. And um, yeah, we're all kind of under the weather. So let's see how today goes. Hey guys. So it's like later in the day. It's 2.30. I am just like, I don't know if it's my allergies. I got a cold. I'm just tired but um yeah i ended up falling back asleep earlier when jack woke up um i'm just drained and i showed you guys what i had for breakfast and then i had two slices of pizza for leftover from yesterday it was mushroom pepperoni and shrimp um so i had two slices of those of that <laughs> and but i just woke up from his nap so the kids wanted to come play downstairs um outside i should say on the swing set and I'm gonna just walk on the treadmill. I'm gonna not gonna do anything crazy. Um, I'm just gonna do a little walk on there. Get some, just get some, I don't know, <laughs> some walking in, some steps in, cause I have not worked out. I didn't work out, I don't think all last week and this week I haven't. Um, it's in the morning cause it's when I feel my worst. So see if this helps me a little and hopefully I can get back on track. So I thought I'd fill you guys in and I'm gonna drink some water and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. So buddy's having a snack. So I just started the treadmill real quick and I'm just gonna do something easy. We'll do incline two. We'll do our speed low. Maybe 30 or something. And just get some little a little walking in. All right, that's what I got for now because Buddy's not having it. Let me see if I can find something for him to do. All right, they are playing with Play-Doh right there. See how much time that gives me to get back on here. All right, just reached one mile, 20 minutes, speed three, incline two. Kids are still out there playing with the Play-Doh. So just a little bit, you know, I don't even have my right shoes on and that's a problem, but I didn't want to have an excuse, so here we are. Trying to do a little something, get rid of this sickness, sweat out the sickness. And I am sweating, even though I'm not doing very much. It's something, and I'm not sitting on my butt, so every little bit helps. I'm trying, my, my stomach is really upset. I don't know what's going on with you guys. But do you ever get to the point where you're like, you get all this test done, blood work, go to the doctor or you, you know talk to your doctor I haven't even gone in I need to go in but honestly I'm just tired of them saying they don't know what's going on keep an eye on it let us know symptoms get worse and it's like well, there's obviously something wrong but they don't know so they can't really help you but I should go in to actually see someone because all this communication is just by email all right Let's see how much more I can get done today while the kids are playing, having fun and distracted for now, making a huge mess, but at least it's outside. All right, guys, at least try to do 30, mi 30 minutes, 30 miles. Ooh, wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, amazing. All right, guys, see you back in a bit. All right, we're at 30 minutes. Let me turn this off. I can't have my headphones on because I got to pay attention to the kids and they're over there on the swing set where I can't see them but I can hear them. Anyhow, got 30 minutes in. I'm gonna continue to go, continue to walk. I can't speak um, since they're doing okay and having fun. Let's see what I can do. I'd like to get to two miles at this point since I got 30 minutes in. And I'm just going at a slow pace, ease myself back into it. There's Izzy. What's wrong, sweetie? We lost the Play-Doh. You lost some Play-Doh? <laughs> You <laughs> silly girl. So, I didn't work out for YY and man, work missing a couple of days is hard enough. I'm missing over a week. It's really set me back. But, I, I'm clearly sweating. Like, that's good, right? My stomach still hurts. Okay, I don't want this to be a complaining vlog. But, oh, and I ordered this thing from Amazon. Let me chat with you guys since the kids are having distracted um, I ordered this 
what's it called? I don't know what it's called. It's, like a, it's this thing that you put around your stomach and it's supposed to help you sweat more on your stomach. Like I have stomach, that's where I need to focus on my stomach and my thighs. So anyways, this thing is supposed to help you sweat more on your stomach and lose weight. It's not like a corset, but it goes around your waist. Anyhow, I'll show you guys later when I go upstairs. I forgot to put it on today because I didn't know I was gonna do this, but hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna work out and I'll put it on and I'll do before shots, see if it really works. Um, I had really good reviews on Amazon, so we'll see. Can't hurt just my bank account, I guess. It wasn't that expensive, I don't think. I think it was like 20, 25 bucks. So I'm gonna try that out and get back into working out, getting into my routine, because I don't, I don't want to gain this weight back and I know I gained some weight back which I'll share with you guys later. Um, I uh, haven't had a weigh in in a couple of weeks maybe. I weighed myself. I think I skipped last week. I don't know. I'll show you guys when I get upstairs. I have it all written down. I was really shocked when I weighed myself one day and it made, it affects your mind if you weigh yourself too much and it affects my mind and my, it's just not good for me to weigh myself all the time but I will share with you guys what I weighed and what's going on with that. Anyhow, let me see what these kids are doing. Put my speed up a little to 3.5 because I wanted to get two miles before 40 minutes, but you know what? Not bad, not bad for just taking it easy, getting my heart rate up a little bit, getting a little sweat on. So that's what I did today. Now I'm going to go hang out with the kids and play with them because I feel good now. I mean, my stomach still hurts, let's be honest, but I'm glad I did that little workout. So, I will see you guys later. How cute are they? I love this swing set. Like, how cute are they? My makeup on, they are so cute. Mommy, this is a present for you. Oh my goodness, look at But I'll you go for the garden. Thank you. Oh. Oh, it's a big old present. Sweetie, I can't have the flowers. I'm allergic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry that it's so pretty. Yeah, you guys made a big mess, huh? Yeah. But the most important thing is, did you guys have fun? Yeah. Oh. Um, me, me, pack it on them. Yeah, they got stuck on there, huh? Yeah. Where's your Play-Doh, Izzy? <laughs> Where? Oh, they look like little rocks. Oh my god, you got some in the grass, bud? Yeah, it's dirty. Mm, it's better it's out here than in the house and stuck on the carpet, right? Thanks for letting me work out, guys. All right, you guys want to play with mommy? <laughs> you want to play Play Doh? Okay. Okay, guys, so it's 6 09. The kids are watching a movie. Well, I film this. Um, so I weighed myself on the Thursday, the 22nd of March. Is that it? Yeah. And I weighed. No, no, no. Sorry. I weighed myself on the Wednesday, the 21st. I weighed myself a day earlier. And I was shocked. You guys know my goal weight with Jenny was 160 and I reached that and I've been kind of like 163. I think the highest was like 164 point something, but I didn't want to go above 165. So when I weighed myself on the 21st, I weighed 167.1 and I was shocked. I was really shocked, even though I kind of been eating bad and eating late and not eating the healthiest foods. Um, I was shocked because I do not want to go that high. I don't want to go above 165 for sure. So I was really, really down and I started working out because I logged everything. Um, and then I was in, I kind of pushed myself on Thursday. My like le my right knee was hurting. And then Friday, my left knee was hurting because I really pushed myself on the free stride trainer. And then that Friday night, I was like in a lot of pain. Um, I, my um, liver was acting up. Anyways, um, I haven't worked out since that, the 23rd, um, because I haven't been feeling good. And then Thursday, the 29th, I weighed myself. So I was, I hadn't been working out, but I was watching when I ate. I was trying to fast and not eat super late and not eat junk. And so when I weighed myself on the 29th, 
last Thursday, I went back down to 164.8. And I think part of why maybe my scale was so high is stress um, and I wasn't eating well. Maybe the sodium and just like water weight because that's like a lot. I mean, it was like two point something I lost. So I don't know. But I still don't want to see that number. I don't care if it's water weight or whatever it is. I don't want to see that number. So the last time I weighed myself was Thursday and it was 164.8. And I'm supposed to weigh myself this Thursday, which is the 5th. And I don't know if I'm going to weigh myself, to be honest, because I'm bloated. Um, and it wasn't such a good week. Um, I haven't worked out, except today I got did two miles on the treadmill, as you guys saw. But it's just, I kind of want to give myself a week off of the scale. Um... I don't know we'll see but um that's where I am out with my weight like I was really shocked to see that number but you know it happens it happened and we're just gonna get back on track I got rid of all the junk someone gave me C's candy I ate a bunch of it and then someone else gave me a bigger box of C's candy on um, Easter and I gave that away I got rid of the chips in the house like cuz from the barbecue and I can't have that stuff in the house, bottom line, and um, I just need to get back on track and I need to start working out, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so that's where I am with the weight. Sometimes you need to take a break from weighing yourself and you just need that break, And I, but it was a wake-up call for me not for me to weigh, get that number because honestly, like, Jenny is expensive and I don't want to waste all that time, all that money. Um, all that struggle and gain all that weight back like I don't want to be like oh, I'm back on Jenny you know what I mean so let's do this I'm gonna get my act together and I also wanted to show this thing I got with from um, Amazon I ordered it but I haven't used it because I haven't been working out so I'm ho hoping I can use it tomorrow it's called sweet sweat sports research waist trimmer it's what it's called it's a waist trimmer size medium this is what it looks like. Um, this is what the girl looks like. And I know I'm not going to look like that. I'm not trying to look like that. But it's supposed to target, you know, it, let's see what it says. Um, repels moisture, latex-free, reinforced trim, and I think, I don't know. It's just, it's basically supposed to help you sweat. Waist trimmer is con contoured to fit comfortably around your waist during exercise while allowing enough flexibility for core and high intervals training. Um, and it also came with this gel. It was just like, a, it's a sample one. And by the way, I got this for like $2 and some change because I started using Ebates. Um, and I, you, whenever you, sh I shop online a lot. And if you go through Ebates, you get like a percentage back of what you spend. And then plus if there's any other discounts. And I was like kind of skeptical, skeptical about it. Um, but I'm, just, I'm trying it out and so far I've gotten $15 back. I've already gotten a check from them, which is super cool. This is not sponsored by the way. Um, but I just want to share with you guys. I'll leave them a link because they do give you a referral link and to anyone. Um, and you get, I think you guys get $10 off if you sign up. And then, um, I think I get something as well, maybe $10 or $5. I don't know. Cause I've, you know, I just started using it, but it's pretty cool. You shop anyways through it what you're already going to buy and you say you get money back which i think is cool so i got this through amazon and it ended up being between that and then i got a bonus from like my credit card so it was like cost me two dollars but it's normally i think 24 dollars or 20 dollars i just ordered it on amazon just do an amazon search um so when i use this hopefully tomorrow i'm going to take a picture of what like not my actual skin, but like with a, shirt, a tank top on, how my belly is. It had great reviews. Um, let me show you what it looks like. It had really good reviews. So this is the gel I guess you put on. It's just a sample pack, but I guess they sell like a whole thing of gel. It comes in this little bag and it's just, you know, just goes around your waist. Goes around your waist. You're supposed to sweat a lot. And I, you know, I have that mom belly. So I need to work on that trying to uh, I don't know, I'm gonna try it guys I'll let you guys know if it works or if it's just like a gimmick or I don't know we'll see um so I thought I'd share that with you guys Ebates I'll leave my link below if you guys try out Ebates 
um, I would appreciate it if you used my link, my referral link, because I do get a little kickback and that helps support my channel so I can buy more equipment for it, you know what I mean? If not, whatever. And make sure you're subscribed and hit the little bell. It's free <laughs> to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload a video. I'm kind of on a roll of uploading every day this week, which is cool. I miss doing that. But, um, yeah, did, I didn't share what you guys with what I ate. I had a hamburger. I was left over from the barbecue again getting all that stuff out of the house because I can't have it in and I think that's what's affecting my stomach because I'm just not eating well um but yeah that's where I'm at with my weight that's what I'm weighing that's what I weighed last week I'm sure it's kind of up this week because of the bloating girl problems and this weekend the birthday the cakes the desserts the cupcakes it's just too much um, but yeah, I'm going to get back on track and I'm going to take you guys along with me. Let me know where you guys are at in your journey. Are you guys struggling? It's hard. <laughs> it's hard guys. It's not easy, but the important thing is that we don't give up and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in my next one. Let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. All right guys. Bye. And I haven't gotten back to, I, I read all your guys' comments in the last videos. I have, um, I just haven't gotten back to you because after I've been editing, I've been like literally passing out so tired. So I will try to get back to you guys tonight or tomorrow. I promise. I promise. I do read your comments. I just, I know the struggle, but I will see you guys in my next video. And I hope you guys are all doing well and had a wonderful Easter and spring break. If you guys are on spring break, the kid, well, Izzy is on spring break right now. It's another thing. I'm supposed to potty train Buddy this week, but he's still a little under the weather. I'm not feeling good and I'm not trying to potty train him when I'm not well and he's still under the weather. So hopefully tomorrow, the next couple days, maybe I'll just have to wait till summer. I don't know. We'll see any tips or advice on that. Let me know down below. All right, guys. And let me know if you guys tried this before or tried something similar. Um, I'm really excited to see how this works because I really need help with my belly. My belly is just, I need to do crunches or something or planks. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Bye, guys.